In Belgrade, hardline Serb nationalist leader Vojislav Šešel held a meeting with a small group of supporters. Šešel was detained by the UN International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia for crimes allegedly committed during the Balkan conflicts of the 1990s, but released in November because he has cancer. However, on March the 30th, the Hague-based court demanded he return, saying he had violated the terms of his release. Shashel said he would not return voluntarily. In Kabul, the Afghan government's CEO, Abdullah Abdullah, visited the family of a woman who was beaten to death by a mob. He told the parents that the murder of their daughter, Farhunda, would be investigated thoroughly. Police say the 27-year-old woman was falsely accused of burning a Quran before being killed. The family has told RFERL that they have received threats from people involved in their daughter's killing. In Tbilisi, Georgia's ombudsman presented the findings of a monitoring mission that looked at the lives of children in the country's mountains. Researchers found that children in these areas lacked quality medical services and qualified teachers. They also cited cases of teachers psychologically abusing children. And a slice of American culture has reached the remote Kyrgyz province of Batken on the border with Tajikistan. The American Centre, which just opened there, offers books, films and even popcorn. Locals will be able to study English and learn more about the United States. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.